Hello, my name is Travis Bird, and I want to welcome you to the music clinic for this year's VBS, Concrete and Cranes. Uh, I cannot wait to have the kids come back together. Uh, I know this is a little bit different because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We couldn't come together at Mount Pisgah Baptist Church and share in that physical excitement of coming together and the energy that comes with that. So we're having to come together in video format. And one benefit of that is we can rewind it and uh, we can go back and forth and we can take the time to be encouraged uh, through preparing together uh, for VBS this year. And uh, again, my name is Travis Bird. I'm the church plant pastor for OIB Life Church here in Ocean Isle, along with my wife, Veronica. And uh, we're excited uh, about your willingness to share music with children as we give praise to the Lord in song. And more importantly than anything, we, we come together through these songs to share the good news of the gospel uh, with children in our, our communities and in the surrounding communities. Uh, I can remember back and what VBS meant to me and music was a highlight for me. Uh, as we look at the theme this year, the construction uh, theme of concrete and cranes, uh, we're a work, aren't we? God's working on us every day. He's making us to be uh, a work that he would be pleased with. And he's the all-creating God. He created all things. And, and we're so uh, excited about uh, the verse that is our focus verse this year, uh, Philippians 1 and verse 6, that says, He who started a good work in you will carry it out or on into completion. In other words, he's going to complete that which he has started. And he's called you to work with kids. He's called me to work with kids in music. I absolutely am thrilled to be a part of children as they sing praises to the Lord. Uh, they are so passionate and so uh, excited uh, to give praise to the Lord and it's contagious. I, I just thrive off seeing kids get excited and also have an element of reverence. When you hear those kids sing those, those reflective songs back to the Lord, you can see it uh, touch their hearts. So I wanted to share a verse out of Psalms 69:30 as we've been called to work through music to touch uh, not only the children's lives but their parents as well. It says in 69 verse 30 of Psalm, I will praise the name of God with song and magnify him with thanksgiving. So first and foremost, let me thank the Lord for you and your calling. Uh, I praise him for reaching down and drawing us to, to give us the opportunity to work with children this year. Uh, in VBS. So as we come together in a time of worship each night, as we come to a time of worship even now, as we're being on mission for God, I want uh, to prepare and encourage the children uh, with these beautiful songs. As they go home each night, they'll be singing, possibly singing a song. And the messages that are of praise uh, share and uh, encourage the gospel. Uh, to their parents, to their friends, and it, I, I truly believe it's uh, one of the things that draws kids back each night and helps them invite their friends. I know you'll probably hear the wind blowing, uh, so I'll, I hope that's not too distracting. I'm outside uh, making this video, and I think we have some storms coming, but even though uh, we come together by video, uh, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged about how the, the Word of God is getting out in different ways as we have had to uh, adjust uh, this time to how we share uh, and encourage one another. So uh, I'm looking forward to the day we all get to come back together. So we don't know when we'll have our VBSs at this time as the restrictions are brought down for the COVID-19 uh, uh, crisis. So, but can you imagine the excitement that's gonna come with that? So be encouraged, and I, and I, I pray for you, and I, I ask that you pray for us as well. So a little bit more about me. I've been a minister of music for about 34, going on 35 years. Uh, I've been a worship leader, and I've had the privilege of working with children uh, in VBSs and in, other, in children's choirs uh, and inspiring excitement, but also it, uh, inspiring a reverence for the Lord through song. Uh, I'm humbled 
that you would take the time to be encouraged and equipped for the work that God's prepared us to be a part of as we share the music portion and uh, even beyond that. Uh, we'll be sharing more than just music, but the music segment is what we're focused on today. So one, I want to just kind of go through some of the different elements that I've been encouraged by um, uh, as I've gone through the years working with VBS. One of the number one things I can think of that kids really relate to is excitement. Oh man, just coming in with that childlike excitement, but also knowing how to pull that back and, and have them focus in uh, on the Lord in a in a sweet intimate moment through maybe a those uh, reflective songs so a combination of those two things really inspire the kids uh, they they uh, see uh, a transparency through us um, so in order to be transparent that way and the excitement and even the reverence to come through we have to be very very familiar with the music but it goes beyond just being familiar with the music. It's also being familiar with the theme that we'll be focusing on. A lot of the, you're going to hear foundation a lot in this VBS um, for Concrete and Cranes. It's all about Jesus being our sure foundation, our cornerstone. So a key theme here is uh, the foundations that we lay. Uh, so there's going to be a verse each week that we're going to have to understand. There's going to be a motto. Uh, there's going to be a Bible story, there's going to be a Bible point, and there's going to be a Bible connection time. And it's so essential that we're familiar with those aspects of each night so we can take uh, what's in the, in the songs and, and the lyrics of the songs and we can incorporate throughout our time with them as we teach them the music in class time, how we can incorporate those themes and those lessons uh, to benefit the teachers, benefit the parents, and benefit the children's peers as they understand the lyrics and the intentionality behind these songs. So, uh, but, you know, I, as I reflect back, I think the foremost key to successful VBS, whether it be music or missions or the teaching segments, is prayer. Prayer is essential. Uh, it is essential that we are empowered by the Holy Spirit as He works through each one of us as leaders and He draws the hearts of children who will be touched each day and how He draws us to connect to them in the power of the Spirit. Uh, we can all remember back if you've been in VBS as a child. Uh, maybe not all of us had that opportunity, but I sure did. And I can remember back as early as maybe six years old being impacted by Vacation Bible School. So as we are familiar, let me just kind of go over some of like a given night in VBS. Let me just kind of walk through that with you a little bit and just encourage you with that. Um, I'm going to put up some pages um, from the book just to show you an overview um, so you can just kind of see uh, a format uh, of what it looks like, a breakdown. So, for instance, the foundation of love is for our first uh, first night. Here in those foundation, if we go, I'm going to pull over real quick and look at this next foundation of forgiveness. And these key points that we can emphasize each night. But as we break down this, uh, break this down, we're going to open up with an open assembly. The kids are going to come together. Normally, we have an open assembly as they all come in and they gather for an opening worship time. Uh, I want to kind of just suggest some things. Um, meet and connect with your VBS coordinator prior to the children arriving, probably even prior to the day of your children arriving. But especially on that day, go in and have a set aside time that you can coordinate with the, the VBS um, coordinator and you can know uh, about how you're going to interact as the worship leader. Maybe you have some of the older children or some of the youth group come and join you in the time of worship leading for the opening theme song and maybe the song of the night or however many songs you want to incorporate into that opening segment. I would encourage, uh, they've got great videos this year. The songs are phenomenal. They, are, they have great hook to them. You remember them, you walk away singing them. Uh, they're upbeat, they're well done and they're easy to remember. So you're going to really enjoy the music. I'm so thankful for those God's gifted 
to uh, offer this music for us. But as you uh, come into this worship opportunity, let me just kind of go over a few things that some of the details you might want to uh, think about. Uh, so the worship time, uh, how long will it be? Uh, are you going to lead the pledges or is the coordinator going to lead the pledge to the flag, to the Bible, and to the Christian flag? Uh, are, you, are you going to share the theme or are you going to share the verse um, for the night? Um, there's so much to, to actually make sure that that goes smoothly as you switch off and you interact with different folks. So when the kids look at it, their focus is on what the message is, uh, not on uh, somebody asking a person to come. You already know that very well. You, you've got it coordinated. You know who's coming next. And there's no delay between the two. So the kids aren't distracted. They, we can't give them any time uh, to let their minds wander because uh, we know how rambunctious that can be. So just being very prepared. Another crucial aspect for this opening worship time and the closing time is making sure that the audio and the video team have all the files they, uh, all the files they need, all the information they need, and the order in which you want it to come. So there's going to need to be a meeting with them. And uh, it might be somebody that you resource to do that, so you're not having to do everything, that they're your runner, they're, they're talking to the sound men and the, the computer guys. Uh, so, but this is necessary so that the videos and the files or the PowerPoints are all um, seamless. Uh, but I would definitely encourage, if you have the capability, utilize those videos. And uh, understand how to work with the movements. Um, I know that kids today love the motions in the songs. Now, it, you might want to incorporate your own motions into the music, and there's some opportunity for that. But if you're going to show the video and you're going to do the motions, have them somewhat similar to what they're seeing on the screen as well. So that's going to require some prior work and getting uh, becoming familiar with those songs. So uh, another thing that... Um, we're going to talk about as we go to class time and working with uh, uh, the motions and, and going into your music segment of VBS as the kids come into you, whether it's a rotation or, or however your, your coordinator uh, implements that. Um, there's some things I want to make sure that we're, we're, um, we're hitting the bases on and, and we make it to home plate with no problem, is that uh, we, we take the opportunity to involve the children, uh, that, that's just huge. We, if, if the more that they're involved and uh, incorporating in them into the lesson, the less they get distracted. Um, so let's say for movement, for uh, like motions for the songs, uh, have them come up with some of the motions. Uh, just, just play the, the CD, uh, the MP3, uh, don't have the video up for right now, and let them come up with some creative movements uh, or motions that would um, help them understand what the song's about. Another thing too that we've talked about um, before is using rhythm instruments or using something, maybe some of the kids play an instrument or they're, um, I know ukuleles are a highlight now. Um, so you, you see a lot of that with children. So it might just be one song that you simply pull out a ukulele on and let one of the kids come up and strum or come strum the guitar. Um, and it just gets them involved and they get to look forward to uh, being um, included in each music segment. Um, another th thing that is huge, uh, hugely important as we know what the messages are each night is to pay attention as we're singing and as the kids are learning the songs to pull out the message of the songs. There's a message each night when we're talking about forgiveness or a foundation of love. There's going to be key words and key phrases in those songs that you can lift out of those songs and say, okay, look, kids, this is what God is talking about. And, and, and as we sing praises to God, uh, this is what uh, the music's suggesting about the love of God. And uh, so, But keep it in children's uh, uh, words. Keep it... It, don't use big words that's going to go over their head, but keep it simple. Uh, try to be as much like a child as you can be without being the child so they'll give you respect. I uh, want to go um, uh, keep to the times and, and make sure that you've got a good rotation going. And I, I would say that with children, 
switching things quickly and moving through these uh, these lessons uh, keep things moving to different portions of what the class is doing uh, within like five minute segments so you've always got them changing gears and it keeps them interested throughout the night uh, in the closing celebration it's a time to revisit the theme song or a favorite song of the day uh, we want the children to leave with a song uh, so make sure it's a very familiar song, one that you worked on that night. Um, so when they get in the car, they're singing that maybe that little chorus or that hook that they remember, and um, it gives them a desire. And I would keep it upbeat. I would keep it really energetic. Have it uh, just just dive into the fun of that that song, um, and it will it will inspire them to bring a friend because uh, they're going to remember. Man, that was awesome. An awesome time of worship and it can lead to a worship leader one day because I know that it really made an impact on my life as uh, I wanted to be involved with uh, leading worship for God even in my younger years so as we close the session I want to encourage each one of us that um, as we face uh, a troubled time uh, we need to remember God has a plan and he's in control I'm reminded of the song, God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. So um, thank you for being a part of uh, VBS this year and sharing music with children. Uh, blessings to you all. And may God bless the VBS in our communities as we share the gospel together. Thank you for your gift of giving back. And remember, he who started a good work in you will carry it on until completion. God bless and have a wonderful day. And we're praying for you as you pray for us.